So question 10 on this worksheet um, has a question, one side of a right angle triangle is 10 centimetres, the other two are both of length x. Calculate the length of the x to two decimal places. So as you can see on the, uh, I've drawn a triangle here where we've got, uh, it's a right angle triangle and one side is uh, 10 centimetres and the other two are both length x. So the reason why I know that 10 centimetres is the hypotenuse is that they're the same. So we've, uh, essentially, we've got ourselves a nice triangle. Okay, so we could actually mark those two like that. Uh, the reason why I haven't gone 10 centimetres on one of the short sides and put x on the, the hypotenuse is that your hypotenuse can't be the same length as one of your short sides. So that's how I know that this triangle looks a bit like this. Curious, we know that the theory of this is that um, that a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and um, we know if we if we label uh, the sides of the triangle, we end up with sides a, sides b, and sides c. And because we've got the hypotenuse, um, we can um, substitute the values of x into uh, our equation for a and b. So we end up. Uh, having uh, a squared which becomes x squared and then b squared which becomes um, x squared and then we've got c squared in which case is 10 becomes 10 squared. Now we can simplify this a bit. x squared plus x squared uh, be simplified to 2 x, there's 2 lots of x squared and of course we can then expand out the 10 squared that becomes 100. So 2 x squared equals 100. Now we're trying to find x and so in order to do that, we need to get rid of the 2 in front of x. And if we divide both sides by 2, that's, how, that's basic algebra, we end up with x squared is equal to 50. And then, of course, when we're trying to find or uh, we'll get rid of the squared, uh, we need to do the opposite, which is the square root, and start with x being equal to the square root of 50. And if we go onto our calculator and work out uh, the square root of uh, 50, we end up that x is equal to 7.07 centimetres. And we can use that, uh, but there's a, a second this question where you try and find the perimeter, uh, where you add up all the sides, but uh, we've worked out here that sides a and b, because they're both the same, um, are equal to 7.07, and in this case, centimetres.